enjoyed it. I was worried you weren't going to get here in time. Have a seat. Yeah, right here's good. Okay, let's, uh... Don't tell anyone I let you come after hours, okay? Just, uh... Taking a look at your mirror quality, texture, the thickness, your scalp, Would you rate your hair? Would you say it's normal and dry or oily or style are we going for today? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, first things first is I want to um, wash your hair. So, I'm just going to tilt you back.
Okay, so now we're just going to lift you back up. Don't worry, I'll support your neck. Things off of you. Just kind of come around. Flip it in the back. You all covered? Good. All right. Now let me take off the towel. out. feel about me using product on you today? I have some really good new oils that I think would be great in your hair if you want to give me your permission. Okay. Well, first things first, this one is the realest. So silky already. Oh, silky, silky.
brush that through. Installment of oil for you. This one has an edge shift one. Feels good. into a little diffuser. that in and then we will get to your actual cut. I think that we are good to go. We have some hair clips as well. I cleaned up quite a bit before you came, so everything's already put away. Alright. Let me just section off your hair.
seen any good movies lately. I've been on a Netflix binge. Mm -hmm. oh, what have I seen? A lot of horror. I'm into horror movies and stuff like that. I like to watch it with my sister. really scary one. I actually screamed <laughs> like three times watching it. It was called um, The Banshee Chapter. I didn't think it was going to be as scary as it was. It wasn't even that scary either. It was just A movie with hmm, what's his face? Vigo Mortensen. He was Aragorn. In Lord of the Rings. Um, it's called The Road. It was um, a post apocalyptic movie about an unspecified disaster that killed off mm, like all the animal and plant life and so people are trying to survive starving, of course, and so they start eating each other, and the movie is about this father and son trying to make it in the big new world. Um, what else did I see? Just checking, making sure everything's even. Bad. It's on Netflix. It's really good. I kind of have a crush on Jesse. Shh. I actually have a huge list of fictional character crushes. <laughs> I get married to them. Not really. I just say it. So say Jesse's my husband or. Sherlock is my husband. <laughs> or Tuxedo Mask from Sailor Moon. Just wanna. Yeah. Who else? I've had so many fictional husbands. Oh. Nick Frost's character in that movie where they did the pub crawl. He's my husband. Godzilla is my husband. <laughs> uh oh, we got a knot. Clip. 
Vegeta from Hunger Games as my husband is. <laughs> oh man. This one down. Sorry if I tugged your hair there. Walking Dead. It's one of my favorite shows. I was, I had mixed feelings about season three. I only strongly liked a few episodes. But the few episodes that I did like, I was uh, floored by. I feel like Daryl, his episodes always have a lot of emotional meat to them and I really like that there's a lot of metaphors with Daryl really, really fantastic writing Merle too in the season finale, I mean wow Motel and American Horror Story, Game of Thrones, which just ended recently. I'm sorry, I have some hair in your face too. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't do that because it's not uh, super sanitary, but it's closed and you're my friend so I'm gonna give you all my germs <laughs> okay so instead of blow drying your hair today I'm actually going to use a wet to straight hair straightener you ever use one of these? I save quite a bit of time depending on So it's just a straightening iron. We're gonna use as normal, and by the time we're done, your hair should be dry. Do slow, even passes with it. Don't worry, I won't burn you. 
really want to hurt you. I don't really want to make you cry. for some movies. I just saw Maleficent. I loved it. I saw it twice, actually. I took my grandma to go see it the second time. She liked it. She thought that uh, she had too much lipstick on. I thought she looked beautiful. those oils I put in your hair. To tangle it, you can just put the straightener through so easy. Um, I want to see, don't laugh, I want to see Hercules with the rock. Uh, he's always seemed like a nice guy to me. I like nice guys. I like his movies because he seems like a person who doesn't take himself too seriously. And he seems really nice in real life. Not that I know him or anything, but... I could be wrong, I don't know. I want to see... Uh, what else do I want to see? Hmm. There's not really much out. Blockbuster. I miss Blockbuster. I'm gonna be one of those older people one day where they always talk about the good old days. I already do that. I'm only 29. The good old days when Blockbuster was around. You could walk in and find it. Almost every movie out of stock. Especially the new releases. Those were the days. Sometimes you could find a big bag of pickles. Seriously. <laughs> um, old lady me sort of sounds like, uh, Herbert from Family Guy. <laughs> it's almost done. Last time is. Remember CD stores? a little bit.
CD stores are the place to be when I was younger. It's all the cool kids went. <laughs> Buy your 14 song CD for $20. Glad you could come in. I actually don't mind. It's nice after hours to a lot to worry about rushing people through their haircut. Just got to chat you up and play with your hair. Make it look really nice. And don't tell anyone though. I know I've said it, but I really shouldn't have anyone on the floor here. I think for insurance purposes or something. At least you get some peace and quiet. Aside from my chatter. slap bracelets <laughs> and double sticks trapper keepers Lisa Frank hmm. Tamagotchi oh man my whole childhood talk boy I had a talk boy I used it probably far too long as I got older. I love that thing. Oh, that thing was so cool. It was from the movie Home Alone 2? Home Alone 1 or 2? No, Home Alone 1. And it could make your voice go slow. Like, like really slow. And deeper. Or really high and fast. Like a chipmunk. it for you. Let me take off your smock. And I think that's it. You look great to me. If you ever want to do this again, you know, let me know and I'll arrange it. Alright? Yeah, you can always come back here. Okay, take care then, alright? You can show yourself out, I'm just gonna clean up. Okay. Bye. Oh, I love stickers. It's like a gentle windshield wiper across your eyelid. I'm just getting any dead skin. What a product. Of those tiny little crevices. So that you can be completely refreshed. Okay. Throw this out. We're going to use the rotary brush under 
skin. It feels like a little vibration, a little mechanical massage. You ready? 